Good morning, everybody. Today is September 17th, Wednesday. Just now getting to my computer, and the markets aren't going anywhere. That was a heck of an open there. It moved over 50 cents in less than three minutes. We have crude oil inventories coming out at 10.30 Eastern time. For today, we're just going to sit back. We're probably not going to do much until uh, 10.30 Eastern time. Interesting enough, the queues are moving lower. It definitely has a uh, more of a downtrend than SPY. SPY is just trading flat. We're starting to get a signal here. I definitely don't like it. I don't like it. Um, looking at the cues, um, still just very red. Um, just don't like it here at all. We are going to skip this one here. It is definitely not to my liking. Good thing I didn't get into that trade there. I like it here more than anything. Um, any, anything that has been uh, all morning long. Um, but the moving averages are definitely not to my favor. Definitely is on the uh, Qs. And it, interesting enough, I just noticed this that the Qs are down big. A dollar uh, nineteen, dollar twenty, and uh, Spy is even. I'm hesitating, so I'm not going to trade it. I have to have discipline to trade my system here. So I'm just going to let this one go, even though it does look really good. That's why I didn't take this one either. Just nothing is lining up to my liking. I gotta be very disciplined um, in 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 my trading. 10:30 Eastern Time. Crude oil inventories came out. Seems like it didn't do much. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Markets aren't moving much. I suspect it has a little bit to do with yesterday's huge run. Well, I came back uh, from uh, having breakfast and take a look at this, folks. Um, pretty interesting. This is exactly what I was kind of looking for and expecting and want to look for uh, from here forward. Uh, this candle right here, you can see that we got a signal on both the uh, five minute spy chart and the five minute uh, QQQ charts. Beautiful, beautiful. I didn't see this live, so I didn't see exactly where I could have bought in, but that looks like a beautiful move. 30 cents, um, even if it went from here, 30 cents easy that could have easily made your 10 percent um gains right there so that is exactly in a nutshell what i am looking for hey guys this is giovanni from spy options trading unfortunately i didn't trade today i just couldn't find a good entry i didn't, I didn't find a good setup and um, i was a little disappointed because after not trading for about a week i was eager to jump into a trade i can take away something each and every day and today I did learn something about myself and my trading. I'm starting to become a disciplined trader. I feel like I am anyways and, and I feel like that's necessary to become a serious full-time day trader. You gotta find your setups, you gotta find your strategy, um, plan, uh, plan your trade, trade your plan essentially. And I like that about me today that I was able to be very disciplined, find something that I like. I really am starting to figure out my strategy. I'm still trying to put it together, but I'm I'm heading in the right direction. I like the idea of, of putting the cues and spy, the five minute charts right next to each other. We're up against uh, the market, the overall market. So I want to find where the uh, strength is in the overall market so I can trade spy, exploiting the markets. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, getting on a bunch of YouTubers and traders and whatnot, and all of this is my opinion. Don't just trade the chart, guys. You have to understand what we're up against. We're up against um, geniuses, we're up against supercomputers, dark pools, we're up against essentially millionaires, billionaires trading the markets. We're up against the uh, general economy. So the markets, they don't give a crap about my signals, about the MACD, about the full stow. They don't care about candlestick patterns. They don't care about uh, a lot of things. And you have to look at the overall picture, which is why every morning I go on forexfactory.com. I take a look at the um, events for the day, any reports that are coming out that could potentially move the markets. That'll give me a, a good gauge or good idea whether, hey, I can actually place a trade before or after or not trade at all. And today, um, with the crude oil inventories coming out, I just knew that it was going to move while I thought it was gonna move the market somewhere. 
um, but we just didn't know where. And that's why we had a lot of sideways action in Spy. Reach out to me, ask me any questions, I'm here to help you guys out. I'm here to learn more about myself, but I definitely uh, want to help people out and become better day traders in general, guys. So thank you so much everybody for, for watching. Thank you everybody for the support. Hopefully we can get into a trade tomorrow. And if not, I might not be able to trade on Friday either, but hopefully we can. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. See you guys again tomorrow.